Hi, this is Mario Romero with the Romero team at the Military Agency, your Phoenix Real Estate Connection. And thanks for taking your time to watch our video. Today, it's my pleasure to introduce Oleg Schwetz. Excellent. I still, I'm still shocked by how well you do that first time out. Uh, the Executive Director for the Phoenix Boys Choir here in town. Oleg, can you tell us about yourself, the organization, the history, and why you do what you, what, what they do and what why you do what you do. Well, thanks first of all for having me on and uh, giving us an opportunity to talk about uh, the Phoenix Boys Choir. So uh, next month will be my two year anniversary mm -hmm. as the executive director uh, at the Boys Choir. And uh, before that, I spent 17 years at the Department of Education as the executive director of a high school leadership organization for marketing students called DECA, D-E-C-A. So you've always worked with children? I've always worked with, yeah, before that I was a high school teacher for a little bit. Oh so my gosh. I've mm -hmm. always had a passion to work with the, uh, young people and and, and, uh, and be a, uh, like a leadership uh, provider and uh, watch them grow and, and develop into amazing young men and women. So mm -hmm. uh, back then, um, so for DECA, when I took over that organization back in 1998, uh, they were on the verge of bankruptcy. They weren't doing very well. And under my uh, tenure there for over a decade and a half, uh, we grew to be a, uh, the sixth largest state association in the country and uh, one of the most profitable organizations in the world. So when I left there in 2015, I was kind of looking for another organization to have an impact on. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, Boys Choir was also looking for somebody with a, a more of a nonprofit business background okay. to come in and kind of re re revolutionize and revitalize what uh, we were doing. Um, and it was kind of a perfect fit for both them and myself. Uh, the choir's been around for 70 years. 70 uh, years. 70 years. Wow. We are celebrating our 70th year anniversary right in now. Here in Phoenix. Here in the Valley, mm -hmm. absolutely. We're the only youth choir in the city, in the state really, uh, that's got a Grammy Award. We have about 100 boys uh, ages 7 to 14 and then another 20 boys from the ages of 14 to 63 even uh, that are part of the choir. We do about 14 shows uh, for the Valley. Um, around the year and then another dozen or so on top of that for private uh, organizations and businesses that hire us and uh, also we do tours in the summertime last year we did uh, a five and a half week uh, tour to China where we performed in over 20 cities uh, around the, the country this year we're going to Spain and Portugal for two and a half weeks so it's, it's an unbelievable organization not only for uh, for boys that are currently in it but also for alumni that have gone through and come back and participate in the choir. So the boys must be very, very excited to travel like this. For a lot of them, it'll probably be the first time they've been away from home. Absolutely, uh, on a, even on a plane yes. to go anywhere. Yeah, uh, a lot of our boys are, are, are underserved. Uh, they come from backgrounds where they would never have an opportunity to travel uh, or experience the leadership and, and the, the singing skills. So yes, uh, it's an incredible opportunity for the boys to learn not only just leadership, but singing and all these other qualities that we teach them, but an amazing opportunity to see the world. Now, when we had our last conversation, you kind of uh, mentioned that you're kind of be expanding the program to include girls as well? Uh, yes, so um, when I came on board, um, one of my biggest, one of my huge goals, huge visionary things that I wanted to do was to expand our brand to be much more than just a member services organization mm -hmm. and to be really the beacon for community education in regards to music. Okay. So we uh, uh, launched a community education initiative about uh, a year ago where we are offering uh, free music education programming uh, to any elementary school in town uh, completely free of charge. That includes workshops, curriculum during the school day for the music programs. We are also offering all Title I schools um, free music after school music education mm -hmm. programs and professional development for music teachers, all completely free of charge. Uh, but that's also opened the door for us to, to get involved with girls. So uh, not only do we offer educational programs for the girls, we're doing a summer camp this summer, uh, summer music camp for boys and girls. And we're even looking at researching right now what if we can um, expand the choir's brand to include a division of the choir next year which will be available for boys and girls. Not necessarily a professional level like the Phoenix Boys Choir, but uh, a, a type of program where boys and girls come in and do music classes and education together, and then we can do concerts for their families 
uh, about three to four times a year. So yes, we are definitely not losing our Phoenix Boys Choir tradition, not losing our Phoenix Boys Choir sound, but we're also, but, but I think it's important as we grow and evolve to open the doors up to a diverse uh, gender population, a diverse um, socioeconomic population, and, and really be an all-inclusive organization for all children in the Valley, not just for the boys that can afford our tuition prices. And it's really important right now because so many arts programs are being cut from the public school. Absolutely. And this is an opportunity for you to go in and kind of fill a gap of somehow? Yeah, I mean, coming from education, uh, I know firsthand how you know Arizona is underfunded yes. uh, when it comes not, not only to music education and arts education, but all education. Right. But especially, as you mentioned, music and arts education are the first things to get cut because they're, they're not part of the STEM, science, technology, math uh, curriculum. And that's a shame because the, the arts and the music programs are, are, are the things that stimulate creativity and ingenuity and make all the right hand, uh, right brain skills like math and science better. Right. So yes, we saw a, a, a big need for us to come in and help out the schools that don't have any money mm -hmm. or don't even have a program, uh, frankly. And this is a great opportunity for us to say, yes, we're going to branch out. We're going to offer, again, a free music education program to any elementary school uh, during the day, completely free of charge. And uh, the feedback we've gotten so far, uh, we've, uh, I think, taught our workshops in front of 3,000 students already just this year. The feedback we've gotten has been absolutely amazing, not only from the kids, but from the teachers and even administrators that want us to come back and do professional development with them. So, uh, I love the program. Uh, we have a great uh, director of education that we hired and he's gung-ho and he's brilliant and uh, we're really looking forward to expanding the program next year and really being an impact on our community. Now people can go on YouTube to see some of the performances. Can, can they go on yes. online? Yeah, uh, we have a direct link from our own website where mm -hmm. they can go online and check out uh, video segments from different concerts uh -huh. all around the valley. Uh, we also have obviously concerts going on right now. Right. This weekend we have a Classics concert um, on Saturday in Sun City, on Sunday in Mesa, and then on April 28th, uh, I believe it's the 28th, yeah, uh, we're doing our Heroes of Rock so a concert which will feature music from Led Zeppelin and, and Bon Jovi and Aerosmith and the Eagles and Journey. Uh, you can tell I'm really excited about that yes. concert. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that as well. Now, you have a gala coming up. We do. When did that, when did that happen? Uh, we're having our annual uh, gala, we're called Voices and Vistas, uh, April 7th at the home of David Dodge at Taliesin West. So it's an amazing, unique, David only hosts two events for two organizations every year. He hosts uh, a gala for us and he also hosts, uh, hosts the similar for the Phoenix uh, Symphony. Okay. So that's the only two organizations he invites in his private home. Mm -hmm. uh, he flies in a chef from uh, England to do like about a 20 course meal, a 20 option meal, and we have our boys perform in his house. So it's an, a wonderful event. It's it's by far our most exclusive event. We only do it for about 50 people. Wow. Uh, I think the symphony only has room for about 100 for their event. And uh, yeah, you, uh, for more information, you can find that on, on our website. Again, it's April 7th at the home of David Dodge at Taliesin West. Very, look, very much looking forward to that. Now, what can the, uh, our, you know, our, mem our viewership do to help out? The biggest, I mean, the biggest thing is come to our concerts, see mm -hmm. what we're doing. Uh, you know, my very first boys choir event was this gala at David Dodge's house mm -hmm. two years ago. Uh, I had obviously heard of the Phoenix Boys Choir. I was aware of them. I, I've seen them, uh, the kids uh, uh, fundraise outside my local fries and Safeways, but I'd never been to a concert. Mm -hmm. um, and I saw them sing and perform for the first time at, at, at this event. And I was completely blown away. I was sold right away. It's it's hard to explain the, the sound and and the the amazement and to see these boys and, and what comes out of of their lungs um, and our artistic director what he does uh, in teaching these young men um, how to sing and how to perform. All all any audience member ever has to do is just come to one concert and see for themselves, and they'll be sold. And then the rest will come. And you, know, you can see all the education things we do. You can see all the community service things that we do. But the number one thing I would love for everybody in the valley to do is just to come one to one show okay. and experience it for yourself. Here you heard it. Make sure you come to at least one of the shows. So, give us the, thank you for what you've shared with us today. And if you can give us your website. 
your phone number and um, how we can you know how we can uh, may, be more involved um, our website is uh, boyschoir.org or phoenixboyschoir.org both work mm -hmm. um, our phone number that's a good question um, I don't really call our home office okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, all, of, uh, all of our contact information is on our website we're located at 12th Street and Missouri we're mm -hmm. open Monday through Thursday uh, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. we do auditions daily for boys, so anybody that wants to uh, join the boys choir, it's a free audition. Uh, they can call and set up an appointment at any time. And uh, our, our concerts are, are super affordable. Uh, they start from, we do uh, five free concerts a year. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the most expensive seat in any one of our shows is I believe $25. So, and children 12 and under are always free to all of our concerts. So bring out the family, have a great time and, and hear, uh, an amazing sound that you can't hear anywhere else. Thank you, Oleg. Now, if you have any questions about this great organization, about real estate, of course, or if you need to get a home loan, give us a call at 602-252-4191. Thanks for visiting us and see you next time and make it a great day.